What's going on YouTube? Geosun right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 17 beta back to iOS 16. To do this we're going to use a program called Reboot which allows you to do that very easily. There is a simple button in here that you can use. So of course you probably know that iOS 17 beta is out. You can install the developer beta and experience the new features. However for many people these features are not worth it. They just realize that yes they updated the iOS 17, they have a few more features but at the same time it's very buggy, a lot of things don't work, some applications may have stopped working and stuff like that. Maybe even the battery is worse. So here is how you can basically go back to iOS 16.5 which is currently the latest stable version with just a couple of clicks. To do this we're going to use Tenorshare Reboot for Mac OS but a Windows version is also available supporting Windows 11, 10, 8, 7 and stuff like that. So if you have Windows the steps are basically the same. So how do you go back to iOS 17? Once you install Reboot, no matter if you're on Mac OS or Windows, you open it and connect your device. I have my device running iOS 17 connected right now. Alright, so as you can see here I'm running iOS 17.0. This is the iOS version I have in settings. This is a beta version containing bug fixes and stuff like that. But yes, this is iOS 17. And of course since this is iOS 17 it's a beta. I also have the feedback application over there like all the betas do. So this device is running iOS 17. I also have the beta 2 update available which is this one over here. I am currently in the iOS developer program and as you can see I even have the iOS 17 beta beta 2 available which means that this device is running beta 1. Anyways I'm going to bring this device back to iOS 16. To do that we go ahead in here on iOS upgrade or downgrade and if you want to upgrade from iOS 16 all the way up to iOS 17 beta you can do so by pressing this button but if you want to go back if you want to downgrade you press in here. It says that support for downgrade system but no data retention and only applicable for downgrading to the current officially supported version. So I'm going to press initiating downgrade but it's important to keep in mind that if you have any important info on your device you should do a backup right about now. So once you have a backup created, if you have any important data and it's not stored in iCloud, select what version you want to downgrade to. In my case I have the options for iOS 16.6 .6 beta 4, beta 3 or iOS 16.5.1 which is currently the stable version. I'm not going to go to a beta, I'm going to go to a stable version so I selected 16.5.1, press download in here and it's going to download the appropriate firmware for my device which is in here, the iPhone XS Max and yeah this is going to get the proper IPSW for that device. No need to go to the Apple website, no need to find the IPSW yourself, no need to figure out what kind of device you have. You just plug the device in and it will be detected automatically and it will get the proper iOS 16 firmware for your device automatically. I'm gonna be right back once it finishes downloading. Alright so after a while the package is downloaded, the firmware is downloaded and we press the downgrade system button over here. If you're using a laptop make sure that it's plugged in and it's charging before you do this because interruptions in the process can actually cause problems. If you see this pop up over here on Mac OS you should press install over here and it's going to download the proper firmware. Alright so at this point it says you're about to perform a cross version downgrade which will erase all the data on the device. Please confirm whether you've continued the downgrade. So if you have any important data I would highly suggest to go ahead and do an iCloud backup so that you get your photos and stuff like that back. Everything will be deleted from the device once you downgrade back to iOS 16.5 or whatever. So I'm gonna press continue over here and it says deep downgrading. Please keep your device connected and do not use the device during the downgrade process. Of course this is to avoid damage to the device. It's verifying and analyzing the firmware which means that it's checking to ensure that it wasn't corrupted during the download and stuff like that. This can take a while but after that it says extracting the firmware. Alright so at this point the device will enter the recovery mode, it says in here enter recovery mode which means that the device will reboot. Alright so at this point it says waiting for iPhone, the device has rebooted, shows the Apple logo and a progress bar and it says detecting the downgrade device. So we're waiting for it to be downgraded, at this point you don't have to touch anything, you don't have to do anything, just wait for the program to finish. It says downgrading the device, please wait. So at this point the whole downgrade will start and you will see a progress bar increasing on the phone as well. So just wait for it to complete and wait for your phone to reboot. Alright so after a couple of minutes it says in here downgrade successfully we press done and that's about it and here on the device after going through the setup screen of course we will be able to configure the device once again and after that we will be able to use it back again on iOS 16.5. So I'm going through the setup in here and that's it, we're running iOS 16 again. Now if I go ahead in here on general and software updates you can see that I have basically iOS 16.5.1 and it's the same in here in settings iOS 16.5.1. So we're back on iOS 16 and that's basically it, that's how you quickly downgrade from iOS 17 beta using Rayboot which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you for watching. I am GS Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.